way, this kid comes to the door with a kitten in his hand. Says his mother won't let him keep it. Did you tell him you already had two cats? Sure, but a little later I heard some scratching on the screen door. The kid dumped them on us. Hey, here come the contest cat. Herbie? Hiya, gang. Hiya, gang. Hey, Helen. Do you know a synonym for the word helpless? Beats me. No, no, no. It's got to be one word. What's the contest this time, Herbie? You gonna win Saudi Arabia? Uh-uh. First prize is a $100,000 house in Big Sur. Man, you mean if you win, you're gonna move? Hey, you need some help? Herbie, don't you ever get discouraged? I mean, well, you must have entered a thousand contests, and you've never won a thing. Sure I did. The Forever Bright Light Contest. I may not have won grand prize, but I did win tenth prize. What'd you win? A dozen light bulbs. Oh, sensational. And how many tenth prizes were there, a hundred? Fifty. Man, with all the contests you entered, just a dozen light bulbs? Yeah, but one good win will make it all worth it. I just got this new book on how to win contests. Someday I'll be driven to school in a chauffeured limousine. How to run an eight cent stamp into a fortune. How much did this cost you? Five ninety five. <laughs> $5.95? I bet you the guy who wrote it makes more selling books than he ever did winning contests. All right, Bernie, you'll see. Before this semester is over, I'm going to win something big, something really big, and you're going to eat your heart out. Helen, what's a synonym for sucker? Hi. Hi. Listen, how do you think you'd feel about some seafood tonight? Tonight? Yeah, there's a new restaurant down at the beach. Oh, I'm sorry, Pete. Didn't you let that paperwork go one night? Oh, it's not that. I have a date. Oh? Yeah, with Fred Sherman, a guy I went to college with. Fred Sherman. Oh, you worked on that summer project with him for retarded children. Mm-hmm. I thought he was in Washington, D.C. Well, it's just five hours by plane. Yeah, that's a long trip for a dinner date. Well, he said he was out here on business. He said something about a new government project he's working on. Mm-hmm. Taking a beautiful woman to dinner does not sound like a government project. Are you jealous? Yes. But do me a favor, will you? Ask Fred how he manages to get government funding for his uh, special projects. Why don't we go back to where you were jealous? Jason, what's the exact date the Civil War ended? Man, you mean it's over? You're a big help. Hey, man, how come you didn't do your history last night? I was watching TV last night. The Five Claws of Finaldo was on. I got hooked. Hey, Herbie, what you got there? What have I got here? I'll tell you what I've got. I won it. See, I told you, I'm finally beginning to break through. That's what you won. It's a case of ketchup. And that's what's going to make me eat my heart out? It's fifth prize. Hey, uh, what was first prize? A hamburger? Listen, you guys. A million people must have entered that contest. And I, Herbie, won fifth prize. Congratulations, Herbie. Now will you get lost so I can finish my homework? You know, Brody, you should spend your time doing what I do and get something from it. Herbie. He probably couldn't hack it anyway. You see, it's skill, not luck. I just started this new contest where you have to write a slogan, the man contest. And first prize is $25,000. A man contest? Yeah, man is a new soap. $25,000 first prize, $5,000 second prize, and 100 third prizes at $500 each. All I have to do is write a slogan. What you gonna do with all that loot when you win it? Well, first I'm gonna buy the greatest stereo you ever heard. I got a great slogan for you. For the man contest? Yeah. Man, if you don't let me finish my homework, you're in big trouble. If you have girl trouble, try man. All we need are the french fries to go with it. Don't give up yet. Herbie may win a year's supply of potatoes. I'll tell the dietitian. What's on your mind? Well, an old friend of mine is starting a new educational program for deprived children. Like Head Start? No, it's for older kids. I see. And you've got some new ideas you'd like to try right here in our own school. No. If the program is successful, it could influence secondary education all over the country. I hope it succeeds. So do I. He wants to know if I would be interested in being the administrative assistant for the entire project. You mean you'd be leaving us? It's not a definite offer. You know how they do it. First they get a list of eligible people, and then they find out who's interested. Mm-hmm. And, um, are you interested? 
Well, it would be a tremendous challenge. Well, I wouldn't want to stand in your way. I sure would hate to see you go, Liz. Thanks. I just wanted to tell you about it. I appreciate it. Well, even if they offered, I haven't decided to take it. I mean, I have to move to Washington right away. Washington? That does complicate things, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Why don't you make a list of all the pros and cons on a sheet of paper objectively and just add them up? If you can be that objective, especially when all the items don't have equal weight. Yeah. Well, if you decide to go, I wish you luck. And if you don't, I'll be very glad. Thanks. What's the matter with you? Oh, I've just been doing something nice and depressing, looking at the list of who we could get to replace Liz. So? Is she definitely leaving? No. No, I mean, I don't know. I don't think she knows yet. Then what's the rush? Well, when she goes, she'll probably go fast. English is constantly changing with the new usage of words. Can anyone give me an example of a change? Hmm? Helen. Well, there's hip and hep. My mother says what we call hip, her generation called hep. Hip is out, too. Right. Now, those are slang words, but they have a place in the language. What about hang in there? Like in hang in there with man. Dumb slogans. Well, now, wait a minute, Bernie. Before television and mass advertising, a slogan like that wouldn't get its idea across. But today, everybody understands it. Even good writing has become more colloquial and briefer. I bet I could write Lincoln's Gettysburg Address in 25 words or less. Oh. Kirby, there are some things that can't be improved. But your slogans have given me an idea. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, Jace, that's too on the nose. Now, I want all of you to go to the library and dig out some old, stuffy writing. Really formal, dry stuff. I've got six textbooks like that. <laughs> and after you've chosen your material, I want you to rewrite it. Make it more contemporary, shorter and punchier. How many pages do you want? Maybe ten, including the old material. Ten pages? That's a year's work. Not for me. Have fun with the assignment. So you're the one, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm the first choice. Congratulations. Thank you. I didn't realize the government was that smart. It's not, but Fred is. It's a great opportunity, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, the program will last a year, maybe longer. So if I take it, I'd be gone a long time. Have they settled on the background of the researchers yet? The rest are uh, sociologists and social psychologists. Now, what makes Fred think that they know more about teaching than teachers? Maybe they don't, but we'll find out. Pete, do you think I should take the job? I know. I know. I have to make up my own mind. You said it, I didn't. <laughs> well, wait till you see this jacket. I mean, it's all leather, double button, slash pockets. Phew. How much? On sale, $79.95. Oh, man, that's like a trip to the moon. Well, I already saved up 40 bucks. I'm going to work over weekends to get the rest of the money. Uh -uh. Great. There's Herbie. Hey, you guys, wait till you hear what I've got to tell you. Well, what's up? You won a dozen yo-yos. No, I won $500. You've got to be jiving. I told you I was going to win, didn't I? I won third prize in the man contest. What slogan you sent in? Smell like a man. You won $500 for that? Yeah, look, the president of the company sent me this telegram. Your check for $500 will be forthcoming. I've practically got my stereo. What do you think of all this now, Bernie? What can I say, Herbie? I say don't lose that telegram, man. Yeah, right. Listen, I'm going to go tell Miss Johnson. She'll flip. And we laughed at that dude. You're going to laugh even harder. I sent the telegram. You put me on. No, I'm not. It was signed by the president of the company. I made up the name. He's going to go crazy trying to collect. What'd you do that for? Because I'm tired of hearing his dumb slogans. Maybe this will shut him up. You got to tell him, man. We'll find out soon enough. Man, that's a bummer, even for somebody like Kirby. Come in. Hi. 
car. You busy? No, this can wait. What is it? The pros and cons about taking the job in Washington. Well, what'd Pete say? He says it sounds like a great opportunity for me. Is that all? He says it sounds like a very exciting project. Honestly, he didn't try to talk you out of it? Not one word. I can't understand him. I don't want to talk about it. I have to give Fred my answer soon. Still on the fence? Yep. All by myself. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Herbie. Hi, you guys. Hi, Herbie. Another contest? This one's for a brand new car and a year's supply of gasoline. Still winning, huh? Well, winning just makes me try harder. Come on, it's your move. Did they send you the money yet? No, but I'm sure it'll be here any day now. Hey, Bernie. Yeah, I know. I gotta jump. That ain't all you gotta do. Did you buy your stereo? No, I'll buy that next time I win. This time I spent $400 on a brand new washer dryer for my mom. You done what? You mean you're gonna buy? No, I already bought it. They delivered it yesterday. You should have seen my mom. She started to cry. But you didn't get the money. I had 50 bucks, so I went down to the appliance store and I made a down payment. I've got 30 days to pay the rest. I don't think you should have done that, Herbie. What if the money doesn't come? They could have made a mistake. I showed the man the telegram from the president of the company, and he said that was good enough to get me credit. I think you should have waited till you got your money, man. Yeah. Listen, it was my mom's birthday. Besides, she needed a washer dryer much more than I need a stereo. That was really sweet of you, Herbie. Lunch is over. I thought you was gonna tell him, man. I was, but I didn't get a chance. For the first time in his life, Herbie does something nice, and it has to be now. Man, they're gonna take his mother's washing machine. I'll tell him. I don't think it'll do any good now. Herbie. Kirby, wait up, will you? Hey, buddy, what's happening? Sure. It's about the contest. Don't tell me you want after one. Mm, no, it's about the telegram. Why? Wish it was yours? I want you to have this. What for? It's all I got, $37.17. So I was saving for a leather jacket. But, Bernie, I don't get it. I'm trying to tell you you didn't win the contest. I sent the telegram. It was from the president of the company. Oliver Cromway. I'm sorry, Herbie. It was a dumb gag. I just got tired of your slogans. But what about my mother and a washer and dryer? I'm sorry, Herbie. make it cross country. It might. Why? You're planning a trip? Yes, I thought, uh, well, maybe this summer, if Liz goes to Washington, I might uh, stop by and see her. Look, Alice, she hasn't even decided yet. I know. Maybe she can't decide. Maybe she needs a little help. <sighs> Look, Alice, I can't influence a decision like that. Well, I know you can't influence a decision, but when a person has a decision to make, she ought to have all the facts, right? I mean, you could tell her something. Like what? Well, you know. No, I don't. Sure you do. Alice, I don't know what you're talking about. Boy, Pete Dixon, there are times when I could really get mad at you. I'm in a real jam. Do you know what Bernie did? I heard about it. I went to the appliance store. I told them what happened. I figured maybe they'd wait for the rest of the money until I won another contest. Well, I don't think that you should count on another contest at this point. Neither do they. They think I conned them with a fake telegram. So either I come up with the rest of the money, or they'll take away the washer and dryer. What am I going to do? Does your mother know anything about this? No. 
I wouldn't tell her. I couldn't. She was so happy when I got her those machines. I mean, how can I tell her? Well, I guess we'll have to figure out a way for you to get the money. Well, a part-time job in some gas station isn't going to do it. Not in 30 days, and that's what I've got. Herbie, I can't believe that you've run out of ideas on how to make money. I can't either, but all I've got in my head is slogans. Well, the advertising business is full of people who write slogans all day long until they find the right one. When they find it, it usually pays out very well. Yeah. So maybe you might have to find a job using your talents in that area. But any kind of a job takes time to apply hey, and Mr. then... Dixon. I'll catch you later. Hey, wait a minute. Listen, thanks a lot, Mr. Dixon. Ready? Wait! Hi. You got a minute? Well, I'm really trying to wrap it up for the day. Is it about a student? No, it's about us. Yeah, I got a minute. As a matter of fact, how about a few hours? Dinner at the beach? I'd like that. Just one thing, I have to be home early. I have to call Fred. I told him I'd give him my answer tonight. Well, I hope you haven't decided yet. There's something I think you ought to know. Well, I thought we'd left it where I have to make up my mind entirely alone. Yes, it is your decision. But I was wrong. I think you should have all the facts. And an important fact is how I feel about you. And I just wanted you to know that if you do move to Washington, D.C., I'm going to miss you very, very much. Why didn't you say that before? Because when you care about somebody, you don't hold them back. You try and let them go, even though it's very, very difficult. OK. You look at this dude. You look great, Herbie. Well, I got a job after school. You're doing what? Junior copywriter for the Granby Discount Marts. Of course, I don't expect to be a junior for too long. Does that mean you'll be able to pay off those machines? If I can't, I'll get new ones at Granby's. On top of the regular discount, I get an employee's discount. Well, how did you get the job? It was Mr. Dixon's idea. I used your 37 bucks to send out night letters to 17 companies. I created slogans for them and ad ideas, and I told them that if they wanted to see more, to give me a job. I got four interviews the next day. That's terrific. Hey, man, you gonna enter any more of them contests? <laughs> no, I don't have the time. There's too much work to do. Hey, man. How long is that leather jacket gonna stay on sale? Get it. <laughs> Morning, troops. What's your rush? Oh, it's one of those days. I don't think I have a free five minutes all day today. Morning. Hi. Morning. Hi. Liz, did you talk to Washington? Yeah. Well, uh, how's Fred? Fred's fine. Come on, Liz, what happened? We had a long talk. Liz, did you take the job? You turned it down? No. You took it? No! The president canceled the program. Economy move. Hi, Mr. Kaufman. Oh, Miss Johnson. Is all that homework? More like an endurance contest. I guess so. I came up with an interesting assignment in class, inspired by Herbie. What was that? Taking some stuffy old prose and giving it some modern zing. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Yes, but I made it a 10-page deal. I gave it to all my classes. 157 students, 10 pages each. That's 1,570 pages. I see what you mean. I'll be here for days. Well... <laughs> I see exactly where you made your mistake. Yes, I shouldn't have given them the assignment. No, no, it's a good assignment. Well, what'd I do wrong? Well, let me put it this way. Now you know why those contests always say, in 25 words or less. <laughs> <laughs>